Welcome to Dosta. I'm Mr. Brain. I've done so many interviews last few weeks and I've got some great inputs. And I want to share that with you guys today. Let's go. In VR, we have the ability to be whatever we want and pretty much do whatever we want within the inside limitations of you know, your headset or you know, whatever VR equipment you use. VR is my escape from reality. Well, I have one friend that is physically mute in the real world due to a mental condition, and they can't they can't talk. But they come into VR chat and they'll use text to speech programs and they'll go and do things that they wouldn't do in real life. Going to events, talking to other people in their community, which they're unable to do in real life, which I think is really cool. Here I am sitting in my house at like eight o'clock, right? But my social battery isn't quite dead yet. I need to and chit chat with some people. I need to get out there. I need to need to practice socializing, you know, so I'm not a total. Get neat, and so I hop on here on VR chat, and and it turns out this is practice. I'm not actually practicing anything. I'm just becoming a filthy degenerate like all these other people. We want food. We be hungry. Give us the food. If I go into a class, I'm sitting down next to some people, right? I'm really good at just starting conversations now, because that's all you do in this game is you walk up to random ass people you don't know, and you're just like, hey, how the hell are you? I think that's a it's killed a habit. It's a good thing to learn to do. And uh, VR chat's been a good place to uh, pick up on that. What is it? It's Cameron. Drinking is not cool. It's not the cool Are thing you think it is. Two <laughs> rain bottles. I finished them. Hey, listen, man. Enjoy your five while you can. You shouldn't be on this game. There's too many things that are just like not child friendly. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, you're I gonna, think you're I gonna think... become a light on society Wait. like half the people in this game <laughs> spend too much time around these people. You know what I mean? You gotta get out there. You gotta get out there with your your IRL friends. Have like actual conversations. With I've the last been people on this <laughs> for two days. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm telling you, get out now while you can, my dude. <laughs> I think VR chat's going to keep growing its core user base because there was obviously a big influx of new users when we had a lot of memes and a lot of attention on the platform. I feel like now we're in a situation where most of those people have moved on and left. People who are kind of trolls and just doing it for laughs or fun and all that has kind of started to disperse. And I'm noticing more and more of the community is actually shifted back into being a slightly older demo, not anything against young players, but by shifting into an older demo, I think we're coming across more people who are willing to sit and have a conversation and away from the people who just run up, say something funny or make a funny noise and then run away. Um, and I, I think that's a positive thing for the platform because I think... Um, the type of users who talk and converse and become friends, that's what the platform's designed around. And I think they're the ones who are going to come back and continue that conversation as opposed to the ones who are here for the cheap laugh. So I think the future is probably going to look um, a bit more diverse and less of like everyone doing that one funny thing that everyone knows, if that makes sense. Um, at least maybe that's what I'm hoping for. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.